Welcome students in my new tutorial based upon the topic link data and worksheets. So spreadsheet also allows you to link the cells from various worksheets and from various other spreadsheets. So it is a basic feature of the spreadsheet that it allows to link the cells. Why to link the cells? Because sometimes we need to link the data from different worksheets and we used to put the data in different worksheets because it is very important otherwise if we keep all the data in one worksheet only it will bring total confusion so this feature will allow to link data and it also allows to summarize data from several sources multiple sheet help keep information organized so when we are using multiple sheets it helps to keep all the information organized otherwise in one sheet it's not possible so you will be clearer when i'll be explaining it with the help of practicals now in this tutorial i'll be covering these topics so short short tutorial i'll be making how to insert a sheet how to rename a sheet and inserting sheets from a different spreadsheet. So now I will take you directly towards the practical. So dear students, I have taken a fresh sheet and by default you can see three blank sheets are there. Now these are separate worksheets, all three. Now how to add the new sheet in this so it's very simple either you can uh, right click suppose uh, i have selected sheet number three if i right click it here and if i click it insert sheet as a result this dialog box will appear and it is asking like before crunch sheet that means before sheet three if i want to add the new sheet or after crunch sheet and uh, a new sheet that means what I have to add number of sheets like one two how many sheets I want to add and the name of the sheet I can give any name so these are the default options this also I'll cover firstly I'll be explaining this one and if I'll click it okay suppose I'm uh, giving it a new name uh, suppose IT skill before crunch sheet I want to add okay now you will see here before crunch sheet this sheet is been added now this is one way second way to add a new sheet is that if you click it in this empty space left click again this box will appear so this is the second way to insert a sheet third way you can click upon insert and from here also you can select sheet the same dialog box will appear so three ways are there to insert a sheet now how to rename a sheet that is also very simple suppose I have selected this sheet number three right click it rename sheet and then you can give any name suppose computer data I have given the name and you could see here the name is coming and I can just increase the space so you could see sheet 1 sheet 2 IT skill which I have added and this third sheet I renamed so I hope this is clear that how to insert a sheet how to rename a sheet now if I right click it any sheet there is also option of delete sheet so I can delete sheet from here also suppose I am clicking it and I can directly delete the sheet now again I want to insert a sheet so just I will select on this vacant area this dialog box comes now there is one option of from file now there are two options browse and link simply browse if I click on browse this dialog box will appear 
that means it allows me to select a sheet now in this uh, folder desktop and students i have already saved my some previous files made in open office calc like this is consolidate suppose goal seek suppose i have selected goal seek this is file which earlier i had made and i click on open so now now this uh, spreadsheet file i have selected now it is showing me three worksheets in that so i have made that time three worksheets suppose i have selected salary i click on okay as a result you will see i am able to import the sheet from other file i hope that is clear you can again pause reverse the video and again see the process now there are two ways i have inserted a sheet without linking now i want to insert a sheet with linking that also i'll explain how again the same process i'll follow from file now i'll click upon link also the same file i'll use go seek i'll select in your case you can select any file which you might have made earlier i'll select go seek i'll click upon open now the same file i'll select now also salary now make sure this should be selected now this is link link is selected click on okay now this option is coming update all links so i'll click on yes now you could see here salary 2 just now the new file which i have imported the first salary without link this is with link now i'll show you the difference so what i'll do just for showing you the difference the particular spreadsheet file i have to open now i'll go to my students folder where i used to save my work now here i am having goal seek i'll open this file also open office calc now here i'll see salary Now you could see the name of this spreadsheet file is goal seek and on which i am working the name i have not given any that is untitled i have not given any name but here also the salary is there that means one of my worksheet salary which i have imported i'll do some changes here suppose instead of 15000 i am writing 20000 now i'll go back now here also 15000 i'll select salary to here also 15000 and i'll also save this file like i'll give the name as reference and i'll close it after closing i'll again open it reference in recent documents it will show now it is asking again update all links yes now you will see here this option is coming this file contains links to other files should they be updated yes now you will see 20000 is been updated now this worksheet file i have inserted as a link so whenever the file is inserted as a link that will be updated but if you select the salary it is not inserted as a link there it will remain as 15000 i hope the difference has been very much clear to you again i'll show you i'll again open the file instead of 20000 i'll make it to 30000 i'll save it now i'll open the reference this is the new file which i made now just for that i'll save this file and afterwards i'll close it now after closing again i'll open why i'm opening because then it will ask for updation so i am opening this file so see it is asking update all links yes this file contains links to other files should they be updated yes 
so you could see here this salary too now it is been updated to 30000 as it is been updated earlier with original file so i hope this concepts is been very much clear to you how to rename how to add the sheets and how to add the worksheet from some other spreadsheet file as a reference as a link so i'll stop my tutorial here only very soon i'll be uploading my new tutorial with other details based upon a reference so till then bye bye